face reverse. to be loving goodness gracious me oh anyway the other day i was parking the poor old gal in the shed and i noticed these bees between some lids so i thought well you might as well come along and find out what's going to happen because they can't stay where they are so we've got to move them one way or another so let's go and find out what we can do with them i might put a bee suit on though because i'm a bit cowardly clustered when it comes to this Well, looks like I've got me soldier's suit on. I feel like I'm in a medieval battle, but we'll find out how crazy these girls are. I don't know, because it's a swarm and I'm not sure where they turned up from, but we'll go and see what sort of trouble we can unravel. Anyway, things could be worse. We could be living in this shed. Once upon a time when the jolly soldier settlers got turned up here to the Riverland, there was plenty of families living in one of these things. We're utilizing the Nissan hut to store stuff in along the life's journey. It hasn't blown down yet, it's been here for 50 years, which is pretty good. There used to be a bit of an entrance on the back here with a doorway, the old stove in the corner. My God, that would have been hot. Imagine how jolly hot that would have been in the middle of summer when it's 40 degrees. Or this time of year when it's minus something or other, all huddled up under some hessian. It's not so bad to be in the 21st century. I think the girls have made a home between these couple of lids here, but... I'm not 100% sure until we pull it apart, so we'll find out. You'd think it'll be a pretty small little nest, won't it? I think I'd better get some rat bait over here by look at that. <laughs> Where are the girls? What you doing, ladies? I'll tell you what, you ambitious mob. Ooh, they're not very heavy, so I don't know how good they are. They might have, maybe they didn't make it. In autumn, they were pretty busy, but we will find out whether the, whoop, there's somebody came out. There's somebody in here still, but heck, it doesn't feel very heavy. You can hear them singing songs. They've just gone, fuck off. Oh, mate, there isn't this actually, hmm, it's different than I thought. Oh, well, that's not too terrible. They're pretty ones. <gasps> now, this is gonna make a boring episode. So it looks like this is gonna be a pretty quick job. So we might have to go over to the other shed and see what trouble I've got in there, so. The joys of the end of autumn. I tell you what, these are these funny little end of season swarms, but I don't know, what's that old saying? A spring swarm is worth a chicken and a summer swarm's worth a egg or something. And, a, and an autumn and an autumn swarm, I think isn't it worth even the chicken's egg, so. But I'm pretty sure that's not how it goes. So all you folks out there that know what that saying really is, you can hit us up down in the comment section and then we'll actually be able to quote it officially. I'm just thinking I'll find one of these boxes that's got some frames in it and we might just set them up the top. Obviously there's been somebody living in there before too. There's some old school wiring, I'll tell you what, those were the days. So your modern frames, of course, you've got your holes here and you run your straight wires. In the old days, they just had a little nail that was sticking here. And then they could make this little pattern, which I've discovered is really cool if you don't actually want to have wax, if you want to let them build their own frames out, you don't want to put any foundation in there. They'll actually build on that really nice and it gives them a nice bit of support. And I don't know, it seems to work pretty good. Maybe the old boys knew what they were doing. Funny that. See, there's a modern one with the holes in the side. This is one of the weird nine frame boxes I inherited from an old beekeeper because I think they must have had some wood that was just that size. So they're not eights and they're not tens. And so if you reckon it's complicated enough to have two sizes in your bee yard, try being me, I got three now. But these are normally used for my honey carting and Anyway, that's why they're in here, because they're the wrong size for anything else. They're going to get utilised, so here we go. I reckon we'll just happily just gently lift them onto here. They can sit on there like that. What are you girls doing? And then we'll 
stick this back up there so the girls are ow, orientated where they used to live. I'm thinking just to confuse them and to make them work the way down, we might block up their entrance at the top here. But I don't know what I've got to stick in there. Hold that thought. We'll make ourselves a little bit of paper mache, I reckon. Newspaper's better, but anyway, I haven't got any newspapers, so it's going to have to be Mum's buy a blind online instructions. Well, that's why you don't flush that down your toilet because it doesn't dissolve. Let it soak in a bit. You can do it. Why is it when you're in a hurry, nothing actually happens? If you came out after a dewy evening, you'd think, man, all my bloody instructions are wet. You try to get them wet and they don't go, nah. Nah, not down to play the game. How hard is it, honestly? Yeah. Why don't they put something on there to stop it being wet? Patience is a virtue, apparently. Something I don't have much of. <laughs> Sorry, chicks, what are you doing? We're all going around the other edge. Go in there then. I'll let you in, you funny ladies. <laughs> there you go. Run down that edge. So we'll just slide the lid along a little bit. Well, we'll let them sort themselves out for a minute. A bit of smoke to chase them in. Yeah, go on. In you go. Into your new home. Oh, oh, oh. Little off, push me, man. What do you think we are? Good girls, that's the idea. In you go, there's not enough of you to lose any. <laughs> okay, I reckon they're just about all in. So that's good. The rest of the girls can figure out what's going on. There we are. Well, hopefully we managed to rescue them. That'll be interesting, won't it? They'll have to reorientate themselves. I wonder if they remember what shape the entrance was. I mean, we've got a flat entrance now and they were running through a hole. You imagine if they'd come back and they go, we can't go in there. Margaret, bloody hell, <laughs> we were in a hole before, now it's a flat surface, what's going on? I was watching this research show about bees and they were talking about how clever they are. They had a little sugar sauce that they had to go through a maze and open a, they'd push a little circular thing to open it up to get to the sugar. And the bees were there fussing about, fussing about, because they could smell the sugar but they couldn't get to it. And eventually they worked out how to get to the sugar because it was like a little spring you had to push it and then run through the hole and then get back out again. And then apparently, once a couple of bees had worked it out, they went back to the hive and somehow or other told the other bees back home how to get it done. And next thing you know, the bees were in there cleaning out all the sugar syrup. How crazy clever is that? I mean, goodness gracious, it's smart enough to be able to figure out where the nectar sources are in the wild. Never mind work it out to get through a maze and then go back home and tell your mates in the box, in the, in the jolly hive, how to do it yourself. Anyway. Every time I look at a little bit more about these bees, I just get that little bit more fascinated. It's crazy. Woohoo! Well, that was pretty easy. And as we were getting this organised, I spied another little set of ladies over here that are crawling down through some boxes that I'm cleaning up. So I guess we'll poke our head in there and make sure they're healthy, so... <sighs> Tell you what, a beekeeper's life is never done. I got all motivated when this swarm turned up and put this box in here. And so one of the swarms went in there, which was all good. But then they, these ladies crawled under me jolly tarp and decided that there must have been two swarms together because it looked just like one, but then they split and one lot went in here and I don't know, there's no lid, there's no base, there's no nothing. So we're about to find out what sort of trouble they've created for me. Take off a bit more of my covering. Oh, just move these boxes so you can see what we're doing. Tell you what, resources everywhere. What have you done, chicky babes? You funny girls. Honestly, we can pull one out. All right, let's see if we can't pull out a few frames and see what trouble we've got. Look like they're pretty new frames in this box. What have you done, ladies? Oh, it's not too terrible. Maybe. Ooh. We might be in luck. Looks like they've built across the bottom here, but actually made their home down the next level. So it looks like they got up here and then they decided it was too cold, so they've gone down a bit further, but that does not look promising going that way. Oh, man. <sighs> okay, chicks, what are you doing? At least they're relaxed. That's something. 
Maybe they're saying, help us, help us, we need, oh, look at that, yum. <laughs> we'll really be able to see what trouble we're in. Oh my goodness me, girls. Honestly. That might have been a bigger swarm than the actual one that went in the box I wanted to go in. I'm thinking what we're going to do next is we're going to crack the box between the two boxes and see how far down they go. Well, that sounded promising. Didn't sound like we stuck together. Are we ready for the great reveal? It's like a house renovating show. Oh, we might be in luck. I think. Awesome. I'm not 100% sure whether, but this might be a perfect time to make this experiment. Mm -hmm. Someone was telling me that if you have this problem and there's cross comb, you can actually turn this box upside down and the ladies won't like the fact that they're, because when they lay their eggs, they're just a really slight angle on the actual um, honeycomb that they make. There's just a little angle, and of course, if you turn it upside down, the angle's all wrong, and so long term, they don't like it. But, but they'll be able to hatch out the brood that's in there, and maybe they'll run downstairs. So this might be a perfect opportunity to try that idea out. So I've got a box over here that's got some frames in it, and a base, and a lid. I reckon what we're going to do is we'll go and get that, and we'll actually just tip this upside down. Hopefully, in another episode, we'll come back and we'll see whether they did migrate downstairs. What's the worst thing that can happen anyway? It might be good, might be shit. Hopefully we don't do any real damage to the bees because they look pretty happy. I don't know, I don't really feel like pulling them apart being that it's autumn and it's probably not ideal for them. So, let's go and get ourselves a box. So we'll sit our box down on top of that lid for a start. Ooh. Oh, they got some honey on board. Well, that's good. I suppose we should crack it open and have a bit of a look at one of the frames just to make sure I'm not being paranoid. It might actually be all right. But it looks like a shit show to me. No, I don't think they're going to be happy with us, John. They're like, what are you doing, you stupid humans? I think we're going to go with my... Look at them! They're not impressed! They're like, go away! We weren't doing anybody any harm! Go! Not happy. Not happy, they say. Seriously, don't think this is a very safe working environment, but still. Anyway, it is what it is in the end, isn't it? Let's just get that bit of crap out of there. Yep. I don't think they're pleased to see me. Oh, don't tell me that's one of them stupid bases. It is too. Ah, okay, that's a bad idea. We won't use that. <sighs> wonder if I should just get a stencil that says F for the boxes that annoy me. F.O. I should put F.O. on them, I reckon. <laughs> this place will do. Right. That's at least the right size. That's a good step in the right direction. Can I bring a lid with me? What do we do with that? Anyway. Okay, where did I put the box? Oh, there. I'm losing my mind! I wonder was that when we took it. <laughs> Too many decisions. Cool. That'll work. Could make them feel good. Stick that in there. Maybe. It decides to fit. You're going to seal it. This might be getting them a little bit excited. Just to be clear, I'm not 100% convinced that this is a good idea, but one of the viewers records it works, so. Who am I to argue with the broader beekeeping world? Here we go, upside down she goes. Sorry ladies. <laughs> oh. Make sure it's nice and sealed off. And then, what do we need, the lid? Can I bring a lid with me? What do we do with that? I've got a lid there, but it wasn't the one I brought, was it? Oh. Is it right there, is it? Nah, there it is, yes. <laughs> that was the one I wanted when they had the thing sealed off. Right, sorry babies. 
like their own typhoon, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, why? What the hell? We're upside down. Like, could you just imagine the committee meeting in there and the Queen saying, What the heck are you girls done? You've built this shit upside down. And then all be saying, It wasn't us, boss. It was some crazy polar bear turned and turned us upside down. <laughs> Well, I don't know. That might work, it might not, but what's the worst that can happen, I guess? I don't know. I mean, technically, they're not necessarily actually meant to be in this box in the first place, so... Hell! Anyway, it's an interesting experiment. Why don't you hit us up down in the comments and say whether you've turned a blooming box upside down on top of itself to see if you can get the girls to move without tearing them to pieces. <laughs> interesting! We could continue this conversation in the brood box, which is a new place where all of us beekeepers can interact. All you can do is click on the link on the website and bing, hey presto, you'll be inside the brood box with the bush bee man and you can give your opinion and we can all discuss whether upside down beehives is the way to go. Hey, not impressed, John. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, we've survived at least. If you're out there watching us enjoying ourselves trying to save some bees, don't forget you gotta click like, subscribe and share with your friends and let's grow the industry and each other's love of the little darlings. These little ladies need our love because without them, we don't get to eat lots of cool food.